Okay, so this is our Sunday brunch. And um, this is from Ewan as well. So I'm thinking I might be able to plant these. Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Sunday vlog. Um, we had a vlog yesterday, but that's gone live before this. Um, it's going to be a really chill one. I thought I'd just pick up the camera and vlog our little Sunday. I do quite enjoy watching these on YouTube, just find them quite relaxing. So um, yeah, we haven't really got well, we haven't really got much on today. We're going to make some Sunday brunch, which is very exciting. We're doing like some eggs and sweet potato. Um, we just had a chill one this morning. We built a fort last night. <laughs> um, so you might have seen the little time lapse. Prior to this, we um, had to pack all that down. The living room's back to how it should be. Um, but yeah, we, we're gonna do um, some Sunday brunch, which is very exciting. We're gonna go for a bit of a walk because we didn't, we haven't really left the house and I think I haven't left the house in like six days. Um, so it's starting to go a bit stir crazy. So we're just gonna go for a little walk in our local park um, and then come back. And then, um, yeah, just have a really chill one, do a bit of organizing, do a bit of cleaning and tidying. I've got to go collect a little order um, just from our local pharmacy, just of some bits and bobs. And then, yeah, that's it really. So, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all staying safe and um, everything's good where you are. Hope your health, health, health is as good as it can be. First job of this Sunday is to do the dishes from last night. We had a bit of a burger themed evening. If you want to check out that vlog, I'll link it up in this um, title. It's the American evening we had. And we just left the dishes because it was quite late once we'd finished. So we just need to clean all those up and pop the clean dishes away. I really wish we had a dishwasher in this kitchen. It's one thing I really do wish we had. We've got a little area here that would be perfect for one because we could move the bins, but obviously we're renting. So, you know, wine glass left from last night. <laughs> uh, we need to decant that oil as well. But yeah, a dishwasher there would be amazing, but we've got to do it the old fashioned way. We don't mind, it's just for things like this. Like, oh, I really wish we had one, but hey ho. Right, cue the speedy montage of doing some dishes. So all of the dishes are done, everything's put away. I've cleaned all of the sink area and gave the tops a bit of a wipe. Everything's looking good. We're just gonna empty the bins in a bit. That's usually like our Sunday job. Hob is nice and clean too. And I'm just about to put a wash on. And so I've got like a complete paraphernalia of washing things. We absolutely love comfort. It just makes the clothes smell amazing. This um, you have saw from our cleaning video. This is what we use, the non-bio stuff. And these are so nice. They make the laundry smell incredible so i just put like half a cap full of those and i need to use my trusty vanish which i'm actually running a bit low on so i might need to grab a top up of that because i am so clumsy my favorite pair of trousers basically yesterday i completely ruined them when i was eating my sandwich so i need to vanish those but i'm about to put a wash on and hop in the shower skincare and um, more like a routine or skincare favorites i know i'll have quite a large female audience i'm not sure if you guys would want to see that but if you do i mean a lot of these are transferable to men and women's skin but i've really been loving the ordinary caffeine solution i use this on a morning and i keep this in the fridge and it's just like an instant eye lift it's so nice this la roche Pose, i'm not even sure it's a tolerine ultra dermatological it's like a serum 0.1 percent and it's just a really really nice serum i use that day and night it just gives your skin like an instant lift which is amazing and then this is a recent moisturizer i've tried out it's the greenkeeper copenhagen groom and active moisturizer active ingredients in here and it genuinely just gives my skin such a nice nourish throughout the day but it's really light 
lightweight and non-greasy. Yeah, I do try a lot of skincare, so if you do want to see like a full routine or maybe like a spa day or something like that, then um, do let me know. Okay, so this is today's little outfit. Just classic, keeping it chill on a Sunday. I've just gone for a uh, like mint over shirt. This is from River Island and then just a white t-shirt. Do excuse the messy hair, like I say, I just got out of the shower. And then I've um, got some blue denim jeans on. These are from Burton Menswear, so keeping it chill. Nice casual. Um, we're about to make some brunch now, and I'm very, very excited. So let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so this is all of the ingredients you're gonna need. These are the Harissa cakes. Let me just. So, this is what we're gonna be making today, which looks absolutely amazing. And this is all you are gonna need. We're adding an avocado to ours because I've had this before at a place called Grind in London, and it is delicious with avocado. And I even might sprinkle some feta on top. But you're gonna need a sweet potato that equates to like 500 grams. Um, coriander or parsley, depending on what you prefer. Eggs to make poached eggs. We need some egg whites. These are just the two chicks ones. I got these from Tesco. It says gluten-free flour. We actually have some gluten-free flour because we had a friend come around a while back. And this needs using up, so we thought we'd use that. So some gluten-free flour, some Greek yogurt, and some olive oil. And obviously some salt and pepper. And harissa, which is an amazing taste. We put this in the hummus and it's so good. So we're going to use it in this as well. So that's everything you're going to need. And then I'm going to pour in four lots, four egg whites. Um, I definitely recommend, unless you've got these from your and you're going to make custard or something, but yeah, just pour in four lots. I'm going to do like that, and then measure. The harissa, we need 50 grams, so we're going to zero the scales. Harissa is like the nicest taste. It's a little bit spicy, but it's more fragrant than anything else. These are a lot in like Moroccan and Middle Eastern dishes, and it's just amazing. And then you just need to stir all that together until it forms sweet potato cakes, basically. You can use a bit of water if it isn't really combining, but the egg white should be enough moisture in there just to form them. And you can get your hands involved as well, or you can use like moulds if you want to be really fresh, but we like the rustic look. frying pans on the hob, putting a bit of olive oil in both. Even like a kind of like a medium low heat because you don't want the sweet potato to burn. It needs to cook all the way through. And we're doing it in two pans, but you can just do it in one and do them in batches. Okay, so I'm just gonna transfer them into here. Now they are gonna be a little bit fragile, so you can like mold them, but maybe using like a palette knife. If you've got a fish slice or something that's a little bit larger to do it in one firm sweep, I definitely recommend doing that. There we go. So we're gonna go one in like that. Make sure it's nice and compressed. So these are the sweet potato cakes. They're just crisping up nicely. I'm gonna pop ours in the oven just to finish off cooking just because they are quite thick. The recipe says make eight miniature ones, but I quite like the idea of having large chunky ones. But yeah, we're gonna pop them in the oven and pour some eggs and then we've got our delicious brunch. I put a bit of yogurt and harissa on the plate. We've got some avocado that Zara made and some poached eggs. It looks absolutely glorious. Bougie Sunday brunch in the courtesy of our own little balcony. <laughs> Guys, we just tried it. It gets a seal of approval. Oh my lord. I will link the recipe down below. It's a BBC Good Food recipe. I see we get all my recipes from there, but I'm um, absolutely amazing. It's definitely one to do on a Sunday because they do take a little bit longer than like a normal poached eggs on toast. But if you've got the time, which obviously we do, Delicious. So we're just about to go for our little bit of exercise for the day. We're going to make ourselves some coffees for the walk. And these are Costa coffee bags. I was given them when I did some work with Costa about a year ago. And Zara's had some of them before, but I've never tried them. So apparently they're just like tea bags, but you steep them in your hot water. So we've just got ourselves some travel cups. And got our little trainers on. Good to go. So Zara did a bit of googling and found a 
woods called Sydenham Woods. We're very lucky with where we live in London that we're quite close to central London, but we're also like out of it enough that there's greenery like this. It's like the best of both worlds. And it isn't too busy, give or take, so it's quite nice to get a bit of fresh air. It's lovely. They're in um, Worcester in Malvern, so really, really far, but they're doing good. They're in the countryside and they've only got one neighbour, so, but they're doing grand. Um, I've just done a wash. The great thing about this terrace now is that we can hang everything out here, so I've just put my shirt on here in a little peg to stop it blowing away. This is a great way to save money because we can just dry it outdoors. Oh, listen to the birds, they sound amazing. I've just popped this plant up here as well. This used to be in our kitchen, but I think it'll be all right out here. Um, I've given plenty of water and stuff up there and it should be good. There's loads of new leaves coming on it, which is really, really nice. And down here, this is our basil plant and it has grown so much. I've just popped a little stick that wasn't in this plant, but I've moved that up there. I pop this little stick here, so I'm gonna get some of the wire that's just down there and then intertwine it. So hopefully it'll encourage it to grow straight. But it is absolutely loving life out here. We've got these little mint sprigs that Ewan did a little care package for us. And um, this is from Ewan as well. So I'm thinking I might be able to plant these in here because there's some soil and drainage down there. So I'm thinking that actually might be a really nice thing to just plant that in there. I'm gonna give it a go. I've got some soil. Might give Ewan a call and see if this is actually doable. So that on the end is rosemary, this is basil, and this is some mint. Fingers crossed this will actually start to continue to grow because there's some new leaves sprouting on it. So hopefully that'll be really amazing if it does. But um, yeah, and we've got some new leaves coming on the basil too, which look fab. So yeah, we're going to have some very nice flavoured food coming soon. <laughs> this balcony is just giving me so much joy. I absolutely love it. And I really like this up here as well. Fingers crossed it'll survive. A lot of people have been saying as well, apparently we can scrub the number 29 off the brick. I'm not really sure how we do that. Maybe need to look into that or maybe look at something to cover it. But for the time being, we just use this to try and disguise it. <laughs> so I finished all of my repotting and it's getting to that stage of the day where I'm like, this is like my hungry stage. So I look in our fridge, see what we've got going on. Haven't got a lot. We're gonna do a food shop tomorrow. We do our food shops, as I've said, on Mondays. So if you do wanna check out um, my how I shop, that kind of thing, that grocery haul, I'll link it up there. I'm gonna make a little cheese bagel because cheese life. So we're having cheese in a bagel. Oh, I might put some red onion in it as well. Mm. I've accidentally burnt my bagel, but the cheese is oozy, the onions are looking good. This is definitely still edible. Oh, perfect pick-me-up snack. On the topic of Frying pans, this is the one I've just used for my grilled cheese. This is a T-file one and it's perfect, like it's such a good size. And we use it quite often, but as you can see, there's been like a buildup of grime. And apparently the pink stuff can shift this kind of thing. I've seen a lot of people online use this for pans and things. It's not in like too bad of a nick, but I reckon with a bit of elbow grease, I can get that off. So we're gonna give it a go. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I actually think the pink stuff is, I just said Zara, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how they do it. Like, it's not perfect, like it's definitely not perfect, but I think another go on that and it'll be bright as new. Absolutely chuffed. Oh, amazing. So I'm just heading over to the Barker. As you can tell, it's quite well stocked. Myself and Zara are very lucky that we do get sent some really, really lovely brands of alcohol to try. These just arrived actually. These are long tail mixes that you just stir in with spirits. There's some really lovely flavors actually. It's, there's like hibiscus flavor, got like island spice. This one's like lemon sour. It's really, really nice. Um, it's a lovely brand. I'll link them down below. But this arrived this week as well. The um, press office from Disarano sent this over. It's the new Velvet Liqueur. I love Disarano, and this is new. It's out now, so you can get your hands on it. It's quite low ABV. It's only 17%, but it's just... It's like a nice cream liqueur, but it's amazing. So I've just got myself a little glass with ice there. Little splash, just to enjoy. Very nice. And that is going to do me while we watch the TV. So I was watching um, the Anna edit, I rave about her all the time, and Lily Pebbles, and they were talking about 
the normal people, like normal people. It's a BBC um, a series, I'm not sure if you can get it in the US. If you can, great, but apparently it's supposed to be really good and a lot of people are talking about it, so that's what we're gonna start now. Guys, I am so silly. So basically, I was putting the books back on the shelf this morning and I completely forgot I had this book and it just, I don't know why, but I thought, right, this is next on my read list. And then obviously this is what we're about to watch. This is Normal People and the description of it was based on Sally Rooney's best-seller novel. I didn't put two and two together. I didn't realise it was based on a book. This is brilliant. Fantastic. So I guess I can read this afterwards. I'm so excited. Best novel published this year. This was from the Costa Book Awards. So I'm really excited to give this a go. Okay, so we're two episodes into Normal People and it is so, no, three, two episodes. We're starting the third. It's so good. And um, sorry if I'm talking about this and you can't get it in your country, but it is on the BBC and I think it still will be by the time this all goes live. I'm going to start on some dinner now. We're making an enchilada pie. Never made it before. Sounds delicious. Looks delicious. Let's go into the kitchen. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so this is tonight's dinner. This is the enchilada pie and this is all of the ingredients you're going to need. We're adding a couple of extras because we've got some bits to use up. So we've got some mushrooms that we had left in the fridge and a little bit of sweet corn, but everything else is pretty good. We need some sour cream, some spices. We've got Cajun spice, smoked paprika and cayenne pepper, some chopped tomatoes, some mixed beans, an onion, and we had the rest of an onion that we need to use up. Uh, a pepper, so we've got a green pepper, yellow pepper, some tortilla wraps, and then we just need some coriander, which we've got here. Okay, so in the wok, we've just uh, salted the onions down for around two to three minutes and then added the peppers. So we've got the frozen peppers and the regular peppers. And then I added some sweet corn as well. Sweet corn isn't in the recipe, but like I said, I'm sure it can't do any harm. And then I added the spices as well. So I did a teaspoon of each and then half a teaspoon of this KN because it's got a bit of a kick. So that's perfect. And that's all done. And then I'm going to add a can of chopped tomatoes and drain the mixed beans and add those in too. Time to assemble the pie. I'm seeing pie loosely, so we need to spoon some of the enchilada mix into the base. I'm using a cake tin because we don't really have like a round dish, so I'm, I mean, I'm sure it'll work. It just needs to go on the grill to be fair, so it's fine. And then we're going to do some mozzarella and some cheddar. I actually put a lot of cayenne pepper in this, so it might have a bit of a kick. And then the cheeses, so break up some of the mozzarella and we'll pop that in. And Clara has the thing about mozzarella, she really hates touching it, so I'll do it. It's gonna do nice little bumps of mozzarella. And then we'll put one of the flour tortillas in, and just press that down, like that, and then start with the next layer. Okay, so we just finished it off with one final tortilla, and then I had some passata left over in the fridge, so I just put that on top, and then sprinkled some more cheddar on, and then this needs to just go undo, undo? And then this needs to just go under the grill for around five to 10 minutes to get nice and crispy. And the cheese nice and oozy, so in it goes. And this is the enchilada pie. It looks amazing. I was gonna release this, but I think it will just go everywhere. So we're just gonna keep it as it is, but we're just having a little side salad with it. Zara's just took the other bits and bobs in and I'm just gonna finish it off with a bit of coriander. Right, I don't know if it's gonna come out in one piece, but I've kind of cut it to the best of my ability. The first part's always the hardest, so here we go. Oh, it looks good, you know. Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's some oozy cheese, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to eat How this. delicious. We have just finished dinner. That was absolutely delicious. I said to Zara, what would you rate it out of 10? And we gave it a solid eight. Zara said the mozzarella could have been a little bit more melted because it was just grilled. It was just grilled a little bit. But I think if we baked it and then grilled the cheese, so good. I'll link that recipe as well, which is another good food recipe, BBC good food recipe down below. Also, um, also ordinary people, sorry, normal people, brilliant. We're on the third episode, really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. It's Sunday evening, it's nine o'clock. Not really much else is happening. Gonna do a little um, face mask in a bit and then head to bed. But hot yeah. chocolate. I'm gonna make hot chocolate as well. Proper Sunday stuff. But thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll catch you all very soon. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe.